For the first time in the war against Ukraine, Russia has used a medium-range hypersonic missile to target a Ukrainian military facility. Putin says the warhead used was non-nuclear and the goal was achieved. This comes two days after Ukraine launched six US-made attack M's at Russian military facilities in Bryansk and Kursk regions. So what exactly are these missiles? The Army Tactical Missile Systems, or attack M's as they are called, are often referred to as long-range missiles. To be precise, they have a maximum range of 300 kilometers. Its manufacturer, US defense company Lockheed Martin, calls it a long-range guided missile that gives commanders the immediate firepower to shape the battle space. It's a surface-to-surface -surface ballistic missile that flies high into the atmosphere before striking enemy targets at a great speed to inflict maximum damage. These missiles were used for the first time during the 1991 Gulf War. And each of these costs over a million dollars. There are several variants of the missile carrying varying amounts of cluster bomblets. The missiles can be fired from the M270 multiple launch rocket system or the high mobility artillery rocket system or HIMARS. They can carry either cluster munitions or high explosive warheads. Russia says Kiev fired six missiles on Tuesday, of which five were shot down. The sixth hit a military facility and caused a blaze. These attacks came on a day Russia lowered its nuclear threshold. Ukrainian President Zelensky had long sought US permission to use these to strike Russian targets. But the Biden administration had held back, citing it would mark an escalation. But the go-ahead came after reports of North Korean troops fighting alongside Russia in the war against Ukraine. For a long time, the White House argued that using these long-range attack missiles into Russia to attack targets inside Russia would escalate. The war would, be, would really invite retaliation. So why now? Why change the policy now? I'm not going to get into specifics. I'm just not going to get into specific about uh, uh, Ukraine's operations. Not something that I'm going to do today. But I want to be really clear. But I guess I'm asking about the specifics of, of the White House's decision I, to change I, policy. I'm, I'm just telling you that I'm not going to get into specifics from here, from the podium. I'm going to be very clear about that. Uh, and what I have said is, when you're thinking about bringing in thousands of troops to the front lines to add to the war, right? These are North Korean troops, as you know. That is the aggression from Russia's part. That's their aggression. Uh, and we're going to continue uh, to uh, be there for Ukraine. This is a president that has led on making sure Ukraine has what it needs on, in the battlefield. Uh, he's the one that rallied uh, countries, more than 50 countries, to make sure that uh, Ukraine got what it needed. What may also have hastened the decision is the fact that Donald Trump is set to take over the reins in about two months. And there's uncertainty about whether he would wholeheartedly support Ukraine against Russia. Till then, the missile war may continue. For more such videos, keep watching Strat News Global. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe.